Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. This is just your run-of-the-mill iPad, but it has some customizations to it that I think are kind of interesting. So first of all, this is a jailbroken iPad, um, but it can do something that your iPad probably can't do. And that's load flash content. Now, as you can see, this is just addictinggames.com slash maxdirtbake.html. There's nothing fancy here. I'm not tricking you in any way. Um, and it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is pretty buggy. So basically what I'm going to do is tell you how to get Flash on your iPad. And uh, so this is an example. Let me just show you here. Flash content will show up with this little banner here. You can go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it's loaded the Flash content and it works. But again, sometimes it crashes, sometimes you can restart it, there you go. Um, so how do you do this? First of all, you're going to need a file, and this, again, like I said, has to be a jailbroken iPad, but you're going to need a file called frash.deb, that's F-R-A-S-H dot D-E-B. You can just Google that and find it. And then what you're going to need to do is SSH into your iPad. So if you're on Windows or Mac OS 10, you can install OpenSSH and use your favorite FTP client to go ahead and go into it. If you have a Mac though, there's actually an easier way. Just install the application NetTalk from Cydia, and then go ahead, restart your iPad, and it'll show up right in your finder, which makes it really easy. So what you need to do then is go ahead and log in. Again, the default uh, login is root, and the password is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Now what you want to do is go to the directory var slash root slash media and inside that media folder you want to create a new folder called Cydia. Inside of that folder you want to create a folder called auto install and inside of the auto install folder which is capital A capital I you want to drag and drop that frash.deb file. Now then all you have to do is restart your iPad and flash will be working just as you'd expect. So. Again, we can try reloading the pages to show you Max Dirt Bike. There are some limitations to this, of course. Right now, video content is not working. So the idea of getting Hulu without playing for Hulu Plus, that's not going to work. And the idea of maybe watching YouTube or watching other Flash content is not going to work. But you can look at games um, when it works, of course. You can look at advertisements, which is you know, a great thing. So we can look at another site, go ahead and load the flash content and as you can see it's working um, so again this is a very early release of this Flash software I expect in the future for video content to become available and also with the games for when Max Dirtbike does load for instance you're not actually able to play because it requires an external keyboard with uh, the number or the up and down arrows for instance so I expect in the future support to come for that so you can actually interact with it but again you just see the flash content and you click on it and it loads Obviously, this does take a little bit of a hit for battery life, but from what I've seen, the advertisements work just fine. So it, 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 it kind of crashes or debunks, rather, you know, Steve Jobs' remarks that we don't want Flash because it's really a hog and it's not going to work well on our hardware because this seems to work fine and the website doesn't seem to be any less responsive because we've loaded those Flash advertisements. So again, I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. That is Flash on the iPad. Again, you're just going to need the Frash.deb file as well as a jailbroken iPad, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.